Hey everyone, this is Azure from Destiny Cafe. I'm helping with a question from new member Max Burnside. He's not only new to the cafe, but he's also new to Destiny, and he's about to head into the Crucible for the first time. His question was, what's a good map for a level 9 Guardian? Well, uh, unfortunately when you go into Crucible, the game chooses the maps for you on a random rotation, and you're going to be lumped in with level 40 Guardians. There's no way around that. Luckily, with update 2.40, we have a new feature that's called private matches and you can actually go in here solo you're not going to fight anyone but you can certainly wander around uh, look for those dead ghosts and for so I'm going to show you how to do that we're going to go to our destination director and we're going to go up to crucible of course and there's the new icon it's the sword with the cog wheel so a sword with settings yeah that's private matches let's go in there now the default game options that you'll be served up with are Skirmish, which is a 3v3 game type, and Anomaly. So Anomaly is loaded first as the map, I think that's just an A to Z selection. Note all you patriots over the pond, it's Z not Z. We're going to go into game options and we're going to change the game type to Control because it will spawn with the flags A, B and C points and you know you're not going to be any use to someone in the game if they're saying they're taking B, get over here and you don't know where B is so let's learn the maps with the flags in um, but you can of course change any of those settings if you want to and um, let's change the map from Anomaly now as much as I genuinely love Destiny Cafe, I'm not going to sit here for you and go through all of these maps. So you can cycle through these and choose them at your leisure. If you're on PS4, you'll notice Sector 618, the PS4 exclusive, will be in that page. Um, I'm going to start with Bannerfall because it's beautiful and it's my favourite map. So let's select that. These other options won't make any difference to you if you're wandering around on your own but I would su suggest that you change the time limit to 30 to give yourself more time. Um, if you get in there and you want to back out immediately, you can do, so you're not locked in for 30 minutes. Although, you know, if you're on a timeout because you've been a naughty guardian, who knows? Right, let's select launch and we're going to head off to Bannerfall. Well, here we are, and isn't it peaceful? No guardians running around shooting, all you can hear is the birds tweeting. So this is what's known as A spawn, and you can see on your heads up display the B, C and A flag points with helpful meter markers. I'm assuming it's meters for everyone's display and that no one gets it in yards or feet. Um, I've been here for a few minutes already, for, so the first special ammo weapon box has spawned. Right, let's get ourselves out to an open area. Uh, let's talk about the kind of things you need to be aware of as a new guardian. First of all, you are going to die a lot and people are going to teabag you like Heavy that. Don't let it get to you. When they taunt you after you're dead, don't let it get to you. It's going to happen. All you have to think about is what you're going to do next and you have to learn from each death. Let's go through some weapon settings. Just do what you're comfortable. If you're, you're really familiar with a particular weapon, stick with it for now. Um, but think about your reaction times, how good you are at sniping and so on. And don't pick something just because you see everyone else using it. Um, your armor, this can definitely be tweaked, but it's more for intermediate level. But um, have a think about, for example, I always not always, but usually go for something with um, increased melee attack or if I've got it, increased grenade throw distance. Um, make sure that your special perks, exotic perks, match um, your loadout. For example, there's no point having an extra Axiom Bolt if you haven't got the Axiom Bolt grenade selected. And um, have a think about any bonuses in terms of special ammo well, I'm using a sniper rifle, so that perk on my boots wouldn't help. Check your other pairs of boots. Is there anything there you can switch to? No, if not, okay, well, I'm stuck with this one.
Something that is really important regardless of your light level is the settings for intellect, which is the amount of recharge on your super, discipline, recharge on your grenades, and strength, recharge on your melee. Um, now it's the maximum 300, so this one is 315, so I'm wasting 15 points on discipline that I could perhaps put into intellect, which is quite low. So think about other things like ghosts and artifacts. Look at the settings for intellect, discipline and strength on those and switch them around. So, uh oh, batteries are low. That's another thing to check before we go into the crucible. Make sure your batteries are up. So I've changed that and now I'm under 300 on discipline and I've boosted my intellect a little. All these little things will make a difference. And I know it's a lot to think of when you're first starting, but, but have a go. Right, so learn from every death. Think about things like area of effect. So my Nova Bomb, when I fire it off, if I'm lucky it will hit someone and kill them, but it will leave a vortex on the ground. So you see this purple mess? Don't walk into it if it comes from an opponent, because it will suck your shields and life away, and it could actually kill you. And um, you know, it's just having an awareness for these things. So my grenade, a bad example here because it's got nothing to find, is a seeker, so it will track people around the map. Um, run away. Think about your jumps. There's no point having blink on there if you're not great at jumping up to, to heights if you want to get away from someone. Now this looks a great place to shoot people from. I can get up there, I can get up there, but you are very exposed. Everyone else can see you. You can hide behind this box and think you've got a great spot for shooting them. Yeah, I've killed a couple of them, but they will know you're there and then they'll cycle round from that point and shoot you in the back. So don't try and stay in the same spot just because you feel safe because you're not safe. Run around. Right, so I'm going to finish this off by shooting that bird, scaring it away and capturing this spawn point. These traffic cones, they're not there normally. They wouldn't stop me. Right, yay! I've secured the flag. I got a little medal and uh, I'm now winning. I'm beating myself 75-0 time to go. Well Max, I know that didn't really answer your question but hopefully it will have found a way for you to um, learn these maps on your own in safety and uh, good hunting.